and welcome to episode 43 of the Aria Bark podcast. My name's Caroline. I am Andrew. And we're coming to you today from our home in Fife in Scotland. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's great to have you here. Yes. Yes, it is. <clears throat> I am wearing my Ravish top. Ravage. 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 I don't know. I think it might all boom back to front. Is it the same part on both sides? Yes. Then there's no back and no front. Because that's... When I tried it on yesterday, it did me flip. And this is like Have flip. you blocked that? Yes, I did. Right, no. Did I block it? No, you didn't. I don't block it. No. Maybe you block it then. I was pretty sure I did block it. Nope. You can find detailed show notes on the Aria Bark website, which is ariabark.co.uk. You can find me on Ravelry as either Aria Bark or my personal account, which is Sultra. I am Farmerboy21. Did that fact allude you there, Andrew? Yes, yes, it did. We have a Ravelry group, which is the Aria Bark podcast. We have a private group on the website for anyone who's unable to use Ravelry but would like to take part in make-alongs and chatter and... Things. Things. And if you've already signed up, you just press log in. If you would like to sign up, you can do that by going to the community tab, then groups... And we'll ask you a few questions. Make sure that you're definitely a crafter because you don't want trolls or spammers or those folks. Um, we'll confirm and then you just log in using the details that you've already asked for. We have an Instagram page which is Aria Bark Designs. We have a Facebook page which is Aria Bark Designs. And we have a coffee page. Which is Aria, Aria Bark, Bark Designs. Designs. There be a theme. It's called Brandon. It's called a strike. What? A str- I'm on strike. Are you on strike? I'm on strike. You're not part of a union, so you can't strike. I'm part of every union. Um, I'm sorry, when did this become like a democracy? This is like, did, did you <laughs> realise this is a dictatorship? <laughs> well... Love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. No, it's me. I'm the first part. We are currently running two make-alongs. The first make-along is a hashtag new things make-along 2021. You must be a member of either the Ravelry group or the private group on the website for your entry to count. Physical, physical prices will be drawn quarterly. The next draw well, is on not the 26th of September. You need to change it. It is. I don't know. Well, it can be the 26th of December because that's like after Christmas. Not the end of the year. The next draw will be either the first or the second, whatever day we record. So obviously the 31st of Friday. So we'll keep it open a couple of days until after that and then we'll do the draw. It'll be at the end of the year, whenever it is. We'll go one, two, three, happy new year, and then a nice prize. We won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Physical prize for the FO thread. The winner for that will be drawn by random number generator. Mr. Bart and myself will choose an entry each month from the chapter thread, and the winner will receive a pattern of their choice up to the value of £10. Whips are allowed, and multiple dipping is encouraged. Enter as many projects as you like if you can show how it's new to you. Examples include, but are not limited to, new yarn brands or colourway, stitch pattern or designer, new technique or construction. Sites. The second make-along is the ABD Stash Mash 2021. You, again, must be a member of either the Ravelry or the private group for your entry to count. Physical prizes will be done quarterly. Again, the next draw is on the end of the year. Physical prizes for the FO thread. The winner, again, will be drawn by random number generator. Mr. Parker and myself will then choose an entry each month from the chatter thread. And the winner will receive a pattern. Thread, not thread. 
it's Fred. <laughs> He's a person. He, he, he deals with our prizes and stuff. And the winner will receive a pattern of their choice again, up to the value of £10. Whips are allowed and multiple dipping is encouraged. If it can be measured in metres, it can be entered. So, knitting, crochet, chinesing, crochet, weaving, spinning and cross stitch if you can measure it in metres. Goals are at your own discretion. You can increase and decrease whenever you like. Each person entering will have one FO thread post that all projects will be logged in. Make sure when you're putting your entries into the FO thread that you're also putting them into the charter thread to double your chances of winning a prize. And right. talking of prizes. You've actually sorted it. I've actually sorted it. We have prize winners. So for the new things make along 2021 FO thread, the winner is Mouse Ma- Mouse Nets 2 <laughs> which is Jane for post fifty nine. Weekend Jumper. For the new things make along 2021 chatter, the winner is... Lorraine L. Wood. For post 254, which is Jack O'Lantern Socks. For the Stash Mash 2021 FO thread is Knitting Mummy 1965, which is Heather, for post 3. To- is that two ends? I've done this on purpose. <laughs> It'd be Tonta. Mm-hmm. Tonta Sweater. Sick of picture it. Define your ends. That is an N. It's quite close. I thought you just maybe broke up an M. No, it's an N. For Stash Mash 2021 chatter thread, the winner is Vshaw7, who's Vicky, for post 108 Sprocket Socks. I don't, did Jane I? and Heather. I already have your addresses, you don't need to send me them. Um, Lorraine and Vicky, if you can let me know which pattern you would like, up to the value of £10, $10, what ifs, 10 something, we will get them across to you now. Physical prizes. Jane, you can't win your own bag, sweetheart. As much as I'd like to send you your own bag back, I'll need to make you one. Now, Heather, if you can let me know which bag you would like, we have little cats with flowers on the inside, or we have Scotty dogs, Scotty dogs with fairies. Um, Jane, I will make you a bag because I can't send you your own bag back. Um, we didn't think that one through very well. But I can make you a bag, no problem. And next choice. We have yarn. Are they two in the same colour? Oh, I could you knit the other one. Other what? There was four. We dyed, there was four different colour ways dyed up and you took one. Right, so you have a choice of, I really need to stop putting that up against myself because I'm allergic to it. We have Lemon Graffiti, Pink Carnations, which is way brighter on camera than what it actually is. It's not that neon. That's a bit common. It's not even that. It's not that bright. And this one, I can't remember what that was called. Flower Meadow. I think so. Pink Flower Meadow. I'm not entirely sure. It's green. It's got flakes of colours in it. It's got flakes of colours and stuff in it. 
um, if you let me know which one you would like we will get them posted off to you now it's probably more likely going to be Saturday before I get them posted off because as you all know I'm waiting on what they call labels labels stickers or ball bands would they be would they it's no ball bands because it's not going run it it's both tickets yeah no it's so confusing me so if you let me know which one you would like the lemon graffiti pink carnation flower meadow we'll get it out to you so that is them is there anything else no no that's the podcast bye um this week we have come in Stash Mash and Whips with a little bit of lined up at the end. In this week's podcast, there is just a whole lot of nothing from me. Very little nothing from him. And some Tunisian crochet. Don't want to upset the natural order of things. What, that I do all the work? No, that if I knit more than like a little bit at a time, like the world will just end and timestamps for each section can be found in the description box below I might purchase some stuff yes yes you did um, I'm going to do it in reverse order because this was actually ordered last week and never came until the end of this week so if you remember last week I had said that I was ordering another two balls of the Life Changes the Stylecraft Life Changes DK this is shade 207 no 2702 which is corals I've ordered another two balls of this for a project I ripped out never thought that one through very well Um. So I've got 596 metres and 200 grams of this. I did have a thought of something earlier on. Sorry, I've got a spot right at the back of my head. And it's nim. Don't touch it then. This is a 75% premium acrylic. And 25% will. You get 298 metres and 100 grams. As I said, I've had a thought of what I can do with it where I will know be that ticked off if it doesn't if it pulls too much so that's my plan with that one is it a tug of war? what? is it a tug of war? you wouldn't be too disappointed if it pulls too much <laughs> <clears throat> you hit like a girl <laughs> Just remember the way you're sitting, I can quite easily hit something else. No, you can. The next one, sorry, these were all bought from Black Sheep Wools. This one is, I did not know they'd done sock yarn. It's James C. Brett. It's called Funny Feet. It is a 50% superwash wolf. 25% polyamid, 25% bamboo, I like bamboo socks. These are going to be socks for me because I like socks. No, you don't anybody else socks, you're mean. Yes I am, yes, yes I am. Um, you get 400 metres and 100 grams, I bought that because I thought, oh, I didn't realise they'd done wool. Well, obviously I realised they'd done wool. Didn't he realise that they'd done sock wool? So I thought I'd get it to give it a try. Then, now in my defence, these were the next three lots were bought because I need to make something, and I can't say what I'm making because I know said person 
watches the podcast. So it's not me. It's not Andrew. This person I like. Feelings. Oh, these people I like. Feelings mutual. So, went into home bargains. Can I just say? These are crafty things. Double knit yarn. You get 330 metres, which is quite hefty, and 100 grams. You could say. That means it's quite thin. That means it's quite thin. You could say it's chunk. It's no. Oh, is it no chunk? Because you've got more meterage than, like, See the Stylecraft DK. I'm just gonna. Go is about three hundred gram, three hundred meters and a hundred grams. This you're getting three hundred and thirty, which means it's slightly lighter. So, first one is white. It's white. Does it need white particularly? But oh, so new colours have came in. Shut up! I didn't hear that. Next colour is beige. Mm. Um, next one is dark grey. And they are for... A thing. <laughs> for a person. In a place. In a country. On the earth. Yes. Um, I'm making two different things. For two different people. And fingers crossed, I get them done because I need them done by no later than the end of this month. <sighs> Little bit worried. Better get making. I did start, I have been procrastinating because I should have had it started long before now. Um, did start last night and I've got quite a fair bit on, <laughs> but I'll need to be making a Christmas nuts on Wednesday. So that is irritating me. If you want, I'll get the eye on it. Oh, you can't eye on acrylic, it just melts there. I forgot it's plastic. Excuse me, this isn't acrylic, this is cotton. So, Thanks very much. So can that be ironed? I don't know. I'll wash it and see if it fixes it. Um, they're all, as I said, they're all 333. 330 metres I got one of the white two of the dark grey and three of the beige so they're bringing a lot oops tis what it is is that all I brought in I've not bought anything else no I've not that you remember no, I've not got anything else. Universe pins. Because you bought them out of them all. No, there's still some I've not got. And that's fun. Go mind me to straighten that up. I doubt there's some that you've not got. There is. Ones that you can actually still buy. Yes, there is. And if not, Craig will very kindly make me some. Or is that like he'll have new ideas and you'll be sitting there like stuck in his Instagram? Yes. I've already done that. <laughs> I can't even mind what the picture was they put up and I was like, yes, I'll have one of those too, please, thanks. Can I order mine now? He's just posting a picture of his coffee. The key order. <laughs> Andrew doesn't have any changes to his stash mash, I do. Well, technically. Te technically, I do. Oh, technically you do. So there will be a correction corner next week because Andrew got quite a lot of wool. One, two, three. Four, five. There'll be a correction corner because... I should know what my mouth. Yep. My totals all change. So you might be lucky and I might take away what you've just brought in. 
It's not good to be meters and they're all different meters. So, shut your face. Um, obviously it's not going to change my stash mash totals. It will, however, change the spreadsheet totals. Uh, why you don't actually have your... I don't have the fog totals there. I did admit to the ladies yesterday on Zoom what my totals were on that spreadsheet. And it wasn't great. Fourteen figures? And six figures. Mm. If that was figures. money, you'd be rich. If that was money, I would not moan. It's no money, it's wool. I'm well, moaning. Well. My goal this year is to craft 26,000 metres from my stash. Let's be honest, it's not going well. It is not going well. Let's no lie. I'm not doing very well at crafting for my stash because I just keep buying there. So, it's what it is. I, as of the beginning of the week, I had 18,600 at 0.53 metres going out. That hasn't changed this week because I've not finished anything. Previous incoming was 35,664 metres. I have added my wee buying spree has added another 2,976 metres. Bolerations. Which brings me up to 38,640 metres. I am still currently 7,399.47 metres from my toe, is that right? I have maths Nick. on a Sunday very early. Yeah. I'm not going to bother running through the crafts totals and the Ravelry project challenge because that's not changed from the last time I had something going out, which was last. I may need an intervention. I don't know what kind of intervention, but I may need an intervention. Exorcism. Exorcism. Um, I'll use it. Eventually. Maybe. Nothing else. I can just use it as a big cushion. No snide comment. That'll be a first. I'm sitting here being nice and getting sniped at, thanks. Makes a change for you doing the sniping. Yeah. My first whip. Is in my bag. I love my bag. That bag makes me so happy. Between the bag, the cup and the cushion. Happy person. Now, I am in the middle of a row. Well done. You're clever. Now where's the beginning? Excuse me while I find the beginning of the blanket. This is the Slip Stravaganza blanket by Stephen West. Is it in? No, I missed it. Oh. This was where it was last week. I have put in two, four, four rows. Well, five rows, because obviously I um, think I'm purling at the minute. I have not put in as much as I had hoped because it takes. Food of hours. Two and a half, three hours. I think that's what you said. To do a row. This currently has 1,656 stitches and around. So it's going to take forever. Um, 
I have to do chevrons in each of the three colours three times so I'll be lucky if this is finished by Christmas. What? I have an exaggeration. Well, considering his new show comes out next week, so no, about an exaggeration. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of taking an age to do around. Age of Empires. Oh. Shut up. So I'll run through the colours again. I am making absolutely no modifications whatsoever. Run through the colours. The purple is Robin, double net and shade 17, which is purple. It's this one. The next one is Pound Stretchers, Glitz and Glam. Shade 18, which is grey and silver. And it's a bit sparkly. The next colour, oh, start again. <clears throat> the Robin is 100% acrylic, you get 300 metres and 100 grams. The Glitz and, Gla Glitz and Glam is 97% acrylic and 3% Lurex, you get 296 metres and 200 grams. The next one is So Crafty Double Knit Yarn in Aqua. That's 100% acrylic. You get 300 metres and 100 grams. And the final one is, again, So Crafty Double Knit Yarn in Cream. You get 300 metres and 100 grams. And that is also 100% acrylic. And I am using a 4 millimeter. Hiya, hiya, sharp. Um, this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry and from Stephen's Gumroad account. I'm just going to plod on with this forever more. Yeah, it's great. My only whip is my first socks. At the moment. Aye, good point. Which is using the sock pattern generator by Rachel Leggett, which is free on Ravelry or on our website. You need to stop doing that. <laughs> it's just they're all tied up. So I have one sock, which is at my 80 stitches from the toe, which is where I start my heel. And then I've got my other sock, which I'm working to my 80. I've got, I don't know. Um, I'm doing no modifications. The yarn I'm using is. I should have the ball band. No, I don't. You should have the ball band. I know, I don't. I generally have the ball band. Popeye Yarn Company Splattered Ink, which is a merino nylon finger in. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get roughly 420 five meters and a hundred grams and I'm using I'm um, two is two point five millimeter nine inch circulars because I tried magic loop and it wasn't working. I kept dropping stitches. I kept falling apart. You've actually come on not too bad about and there's a bit of bunching around here that I'm not 100% sure what's going on. So confused. Have you made sure that you're counting your stitches that you have the right number of stitches on here? Yep. And how many stitches should you have, Andrew? 80. You're actually coming on too bad. You need to watch with... Yes, I know I'm twisting stitches. It's no, you're not twisting stitches, you're catching stitches. And there's some of them are actually, I've actually twisted and done it wrong, because look. Mm. No. Some of the V's are mucked up. You learn. But as I keep saying, I don't care. It's a first stop. It's never ever going to be perfect. Am I going to see it? Is it going to be inside a shoe? 
compensation. I'm not gonna see it. If anybody's looking that closely at your feet, you have other issues. My next project. Project. You're a bit now, forty. As was mentioned last week, this I had bought this to make this. This is the Circle by Albina McLaughlin. I've not got a big enough cord because I'm using it on the Stephen West. But here's that. That's gonna be awesome. Um, I may need to borrow. No. What? I'm speaking to you. Just saying no. In case you were. I'm going to have to put on a bigger cord just to make sure that it definitely fits around the back. I think it might. It kind of looks like it will fit. I'm putting merms on. So it kind of needs to fit. Yes, but obviously it's wider at your back than it is at your front. No, it's not. You're wider at the front. Women are wider at the front than they are at the back. So it should be. <laughs> this, as you'll probably be able to tell, that got ripped out. Really bad pulling. Tried to fix it, but he looked cool that in. And it made it worse. So, on Monday, during Zoom, I ripped it out. And the ladies helped me pick another colour, which is this. <laughs> um, this is... Here it is. Stylecraft Special DK. And shade 1708, which is petrol. This is... That can be cut. Start at the centre. You come out, this is how much I've done. I am very happy. My goal this week was to get all the increases done. And I have. All my increases have been done. Now I'm about to put my sleeves on. So excited. I think what the plan will be is I'm going to follow the instructions and put do obviously this has got afterthought sleeves i think what we'll do is i'll do the setup for the afterthought sleeves knit a wee bit knit some sleeves knit a wee bit knit some sleeves knit a wee bit knit some sleeves to break it up a wee bit that's my plan and i'm going to stick to it so awesome. you find that you're allergic to it i'm not allergic to it mm-hmm. it's acrylic i can't be allergic to it You'll find a way. Um, as I said, I'm not making any modifications at all. I'm just going to follow the pattern. I am making size 4, which is 120 centimetres or 48 inches. I have gone up a pattern size from what I need because I do like a big baggy cardigan. Um, this is 100% acrylic. You get 295 metres and... 100 grams um, and I'm using a 5mm Knit Pro Zing that will probably change to higher higher sharp so that I can put it on bigger cords this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry and I don't think Albina has sells them anywhere else I love this pattern. This is my happy place. No, saying I might have bought another few. Wouldn't your happy place be where it is? No, I'll be in this pattern, so my happy place. <laughs> Follow the instructions, get amazing results. Channel what? <laughs> <laughs> Which channel happens when you follow the pattern? <laughs> My next project. <coughs> oh, this part. 
she told you projects projects now I am having a love hate relationship with this pattern well know with the pattern I love the pattern hate the yarn anybody notice that this is slightly bigger than what it was last week you're supposed to pull from the middle which I'm doing the more you pull the more that gets wider now it's the flame do my head in this is the Nightfall Shawl by AK Laurie Designs. I love it. Stripey. It's striping. This is where I was last week. I had hoped to get another two or three repeats in. I've only done one. Um, obviously, I wasn't expecting to put my circle card again and having to desert that again. But I had to because pulling. This is getting to be a fair wee size. I still have all of that to go. Then I have to block it. And then wrap it around the house. Well, I had thought if it's not going to be big enough, because I'm obviously I'm wanting a big wrap room myself show I might add another one on I think it's going to be big enough for that I do have another show that I made out of this yarn I'll maybe see what size that can it and make a decision from there this is Stanley Stanley, Stanley Muffin Mini Lux in shade 1542. 1542. Um, it doesn't have a colour name. It's that, basically. That's a better one. So I've only got another two colours to go, and then that'll be Maybe if I don't add another ball. As I said before, love the pattern. Absolutely love the pattern. This yarn is doing my head in. Um, it's not coming out even. It'll come out and you'll get like big bits of like the gold flop to it and you literally need to pull it and pull it and pull it to bring it back in. But it is what it is. Um... Where did I go to? I make no modifications at all. I'm just going to follow the pattern. Well, I when I'm not following the pattern. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut up. Let me explain. I am following the pattern. I'm just not reading the pattern. And therefore, you're following the pattern. I am following the pattern. I've not followed the pattern feel like doing here somewhere and I've just this is going to be awesome can it be nice but a jumper in that pattern or a poncho mmm poncho in that pattern poncho pattern poncho in that pattern would actually be quite nice no I think a jumper in that pattern would be nice Oh, I thought he's got a new jumper coming in next week. Just saying. It may or may not fall into my Ravelry line, like my pattern library. It probably will. A oh, that's a fact it will, because I already told Laurie I'm buying it. A lot of stuff falls into your pattern library. Look, I'm, as I said to the ladies on Zoom, on Thursday I'm going to have to speak to Ravelry in Albina about Albina's wonky shelf on Ravelry see the amount of patterns as you're walking past them that just fall into your car can't help it <laughs> wonky shelf um, 
as I said, this is Stanley Muffin Lux. It is a 90% acrylic, 10% lurex. You get a thousand meters and 250 grams. I'm just going to keep going until it's done. This is a stitch marker that I got for Alex at my yarny corner. Love, 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 love it. Um, I'm using a 5mm Knit Pro Symphony Tunisine hook. I have gone down a hook size to make it slightly thicker because I'm wanting it for during the winter to keep me warm when I'm at my desk. You can't stand on that, Ellie. Um, is there anything else? The pattern is available from Laurie's website. I will leave links on the show notes. So that is that one. We're getting to the end. Now, you will all remember last week I was having a moan about the fact that my Christmas socks were an epic disaster. Not anymore, they're not. Need to find the ball band. These are my Christmas socks. They are look. Oh, look. That's, that's a pattern. They're so thick. Pattern. And it works. I love it. These are the fidget socks by Amy Stringer. It might be a free pattern on Ravelry. Can you look up that pattern for me, please? I am making no modifications at all. Um, this is definitely a free pattern on Ravelry. I am using... Can you hold that up? Going to make it dance. West Yorkshire Spinner Signature 4 Ply Sparkle in shade, you're an idiot, 1051, which is vintage tinsel. It's a 75% wool, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. I am using a 2.25 millimetre <laughs> numpty. You said that. 2.25 millimeter high high uh, sharp. We have very own cord. You said don't make it dance, not don't make it orbit. If you're a muppet. And I start these. When do I start these? I started these at the weekend, last weekend. And this is how much I've got done. Um. I will need to fix that because that's dangling precariously of a stitch. There we go. These are marking the repeats. I'll need to start doing the ones at the back to mark how many rows I've done for sticking in my heel. Um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but if it is, it will be linked in the show notes. I am really enjoying the pattern. It's really easy to work on while I'm on Zoom. And once they're finished, hopefully they'll be finished in time to enter into Mandy from Mousy's Makes. Sock along! I hope mine are finished in time to enter it as well. Yes. Probably won't be though. It should be because you're just sitting around in circles. The hardest part of that is going to put the heel in. So if you can get that other sock up to where the heel is, I'll get the two up to where the heel is. Mm-hmm. And then I can show you how to do the heel. Or I could just stop where I am and be like, they're toe warmers. They're not socks, they're toe warmers. Nice try, Batman. Now, we have a lined up that I forgot to add in that I've just remembered. We are doing 
the Stephen West shawlography, which comes out on the 8th, so that will be Friday. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. So, these are the colours for the shallography. So, colours have been picked. I swear that's not as pink as what it looks. So, these are the colours. I'm not going to go through them just now because I don't know what colours they are. Obviously, I know what that is. I know what they two are in that one. In that one. And I'm pretty sure that's Apple. Um, Andrew's just sitting sniffing his wheel like a weirdo. I thought she was taking it a bit a minute ago, is um, Full colours will be in the next week's show notes. But that's us picked our colours. Are you happy with yours? Do you realise how much effort your mother went to to pull them out? Probably a bit like... Oh. No. <laughs> because I do not have unspeckled hand dyed. My right Mine's are speckly. Why can we not use speckles? Because it tells you not to. Well, I don't follow the rules. Obviously, they two are, that's no as speckled, but that one is speckled. I want my own lemon goofy. So I took one. So that is everything. Um, we would like to thank everyone for the condolences in regards to Flake. A.K.A. the Demon Bunny. A.K.A. and the Structure Bunny. Um, he was taken to the vet yesterday. We did kind of think that the vet were, was going to go, no, we'll just keep him on medication. Absolutely nothing like that. We took him in and we're like, yeah, you want to beat your rabbit to sleep? Here's the floor. Why do you have to send for? Because they're no legally allowed to put a, an animal to sleep unless you sign a form to say that you get consent to kill the rabbit. Because that's ultimately what you're doing, is you're killing it. It's just you're legally killing it. Um, the vet does agree that obviously his quality of life just wasn't there. And the fact that he was nine, she hadn't seen a rabbit that was nine, ever. So at half past three, Fletcher Bunny, um, we were getting an option of being well but it involved putting a cannula in um, and where the parrot, the parrot in his ear and I was like mm. uh, or taking him into a nice wee dark room and giving him some nice sleeping gas and we chose that option um, I think at the time both me and Ryan when she was going through the options of how they would put him to sleep I just heard sticking a cannula in his ear and thought he's not going to like that at all and we both decided that we'd rather a less stressful way to go obviously we knew he was going so we said it over goodbyes and might have given him a bowl full of treats just say it like would you like 500 treats Let's face it, was it going to kill him? It's not like it was going to kill him. So when we got the time and put all these treats in a bowl and meant have at it, do it. Root in a sugar high. <laughs> um, Flake has now been buried in the back garden. Where? Up at the shed. Um, he was old 
as you will probably have noticed, it's very quiet. We did not realise just how much noise Mr Flake made. We will not be getting another rabbit. Yeah. Or a jumping spider. You're getting a jumping spider. Jumping You're not getting a jumping spider. You can kiss it's my so back end. And it eats flies. And here you go. Oh, don't even start. Because there was f at one point there was five uh, spiders out in our hole. Mr. Bark likes a spider. Uh, I can't mind some sort of flying beastie died of natural causes and Mr Bart picked it up and flung it continuously onto the web to try and get it to stick so that this spider had something to eat. I don't even think it's at it yet. Um, what do we have planned for this week? Not very much. Um, plan is are you excited for being Outside your comfort zone? No. Oh. Yeah. I just think you're going to have to knit every week. I do knit every week. One day every week. The clothes come out every week, so you need to have your knitting done by the following week. What clothes? It's not like just one pattern and then you have at it. The clothes come out every week. I was not told this. Ah, you were? No, I was not. I just assumed it's a mystery pattern until he brings it out and goes, here's your pattern. No, you have to end that every week. So that is everything. You need to hurry up and go get dressed for work. Yep. And we are going to visit my cousin. Then we hope you have a very crafty week. Sorry, apologies, legs swinging. We hope you have a very crafty week and we will see you back here again next week. Do not scream. Bye!